Yeah. Good pace, unique shots. Uh, I think we moved the ball fairly well. Um, and just overall good execution, good pace, both both sides you know, scored at a high level. So uh, they continue to play with pace. We'll have to get back, set our defense, and then we want to continue to play with uh, pace ourselves. You guys have 23 three pointers. Chicago inches in the top five in opposing three point percentage. What are they doing so effectively on that side? That's kind of cool. The team uh, teams dry in that area. You said they're taking away threes. Percentage of the top five and opposing three point percentage. They do a good job contesting shots. They fly around. Uh, very active defense, very aggressive defense. They turn teams over and uh, they always have a hand in your face. So, you've got to give them credit. They, they, they scramble, they move, they contest shots. What do you think Nick has done kind of reintegrating himself back in the lineup? He's done a good job. I think he's uh, been a real asset for us on the defensive end. His length, his experience, uh, playmaking, second, secondary playmaker. You know, he's getting his legs underneath him, I think, these last few games, so I thought he's doing, I think he's doing well. Hey, with Cody Martin only playing 11 minutes in the last four games, are you, is he pointed toward Greensboro, or what do you think? There's potential there for Greensboro, absolutely, absolutely. Especially with Nick back, you know, in the lineup, uh, it's getting tough to get minutes for all these guys, you know, Bacon's in that mix too, you know, it's tough to get to find six, seven guys' minutes on the uh, on the wing. So, um, yeah, He's, there's potential there for Greensboro. Coach, it's your sixth game in the last eight days. How do you balance playing at a high pace that like you guys want to play at, but also the fatigue um, coming together after like a lot of games and like not crashing late in the fourth quarter? Keep our guys fresh. I think that's the biggest thing is just uh, keep our rotation tight. Uh, guys may run shorter runs tonight to stay fresh, stay active. Because we got to be who we are. We got to continue to play with pace, keep moving. Uh, we got to fly around defensively. If we're just following guys around defensively, not active, not aggressive, that's not a good recipe for us. So um, I'm just going to have to manage the, the lineup and make sure guys are fresh out there. With that, Miles, he had a season high in points last night. I know, do you want to see him score not so much that much, but a little bit more to kind of make the guys a little bit easier for these guys on offense for well, you guys? I, I think for him it's more just the, the aggressive mentality more than the scoring. I love the number. He made shots and he got to the rim, but he was aggressive. He was assertive. He took what the defense gave him. He drove the ball extremely well, got out in transition, and when he had an open three, he took it. Um, and whatever that produces for him night to night is what I'm looking for. So, um, but I, 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 I thought he was very aggressive last night. I heard you talking on the radio the other day about rebounding. Are you willing to concede other areas to address that? That's the number one priority. All five guys got a rebound. We don't, if we had David Robinson in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal in the middle, it's different. Guys can leak out and run. We don't have that guy. We got to do it collectively. And we've been losing the possession game by not taking care of the defensive glass. Between turnovers and offensive rebounds, we've lost that game. And for us, I'll live with a little bit of uh, a slower pace to get the to get the rebound. We have to, mm -hmm. and um, we're addressing it now. I expect all five guys to be in the paint. We need our guards to rebound, and they can't just leave it up to our big guys to rebound. We got to do it with all five, which will slow us down in transition. It's a streak again for you guys. You guys are streaking, losing, winning, losing, winning. As a coach, is it easier for you to teach after a loss? A team like this, a young team, or is it easier after? I always prefer a win. I always prefer a win. <laughs> always easier. They're more receptive. I'm better to be around. I'm a better coach after we win. Uh, yeah, you teach them both, but you, you do what you do. You know, after a loss, you teach, you coach. You lose, you teach, you coach. Same mentality. Um, so nothing changes there. We got to continue to get better. Um, our philosophy is the same right now. We compete every single night. Player development with our, our identity. So far, we've done that. I, I like the way we competed last night. We just couldn't close. So um, our guys are receptive. They're open to coaching right now. We'll continue to do that. When you said you're easier to be around after a win, when Mitch said in the preseason that you took losses really, really hard last season, has anything changed about that? I'm doing, I'm doing a better job. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I think it's, it's, it's staying disciplined. I've got to stay disciplined. If I'm going to ask my players to stay disciplined and move on and grow and get better, I have to do the same as their head coach. Um, I can't get caught up in necessarily the win and loss 
uh, every single game. It's about development, it's about competing, it's about identity. And when I step back big picture, we're doing a very good job, as far as I can see. That our, we are competing every single night. Uh, our players, especially our young guys, are getting better. And I think Miles was a great example of that last night. Devontae's growth, Malik's growth, uh, PJ, you know, what PJ's doing. Um, and, you know, that's, that's what I got to continue to keep my focus on. Um, I have my moments after a loss. I move forward, I move on, and I get ready for the next day. Do you get over them any faster, maybe? A little bit more. A little bit better this year. Coach, Jalen and Caleb both played a handful of games in Greensboro. Obviously, they got called up today. What's your overall assessment of them that, so, the, uh, thus far? And both of them, uh, talking to them the last few weeks, their mindset, just to they're just completely bought into their opportunity and their progression. What's your just assessment of them so far? Yeah, I think they're do, doing great. I wish I was around them more. Um, but everything I hear from Coach Wolf and uh, Nick Friedman is really positive. Very coachable young kids, uh, getting better, understanding our system at a higher level. And I love their spirit. They just have great spirit, great motors, very coachable. Those, those qualities are going to allow them to be successful in this league. So uh, I think they're keepers for us, absolutely. Thanks, everybody.